Welcome to my store. Okay, and that's eighteen dollars. Okay, then we got the blue rush. I saw it yesterday. I put it away. It's thin. It's blue-ish. Ish. Ish is the operative word. <laughs> this is blue rush. Now. Yep. Party marginal, full sun or part shade, one inch below surface, winter type H. Apparently that's blue. That's pretty green to me. Well, Kentucky bluegrass, you know why it's called Kentucky bluegrass? Because it's, it's in a Kentucky. green grass. Cause it has blue flowers. Ah. Little tiny, tiny blue flowers. Does this have blue flowers? I guess it does. It's got some kind know. of, looks like it's got some kind of bud on it. Yeah, it's got a whole bunch of bee heads. Purple iris. Purple iris is 17. And this is it right here. Isn't that a beautiful flower? Yeah. Purple one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, it's like the yellow iris. Let's try to find the font. See, jammed all together here. Okay, it is a hardy marginal or bog, full sun preferred, best grown at one inch. Winter type H. Leave her outside, let her freeze. Okay, and that is $17. Water strawberry is uh, down here. I don't know if you get strawberries out of it or why they call it a water strawberry. Kind of looks like a strawberry plant. Mm -hmm. Extremely vaguely. But it's a water strawberry, hardy marginal, full sun or part shade, grows three inches below the surface, native, winter type H. Long stems spread horizontally near the surface of the water. Interesting burgundy purple flowers in June and July. Ah, that's why they call it strawberry. <coughs> because it has purple flowers? Burgundy purple, so it's probably. Oh! It's not the fruit that's strawberries, it's the. Uh, Color of the color of the thing. Okay, that makes sense. It does. Makes more sense than what I was thinking. <laughs> Somebody just had strawberries on their mind. Okay, crushed ice arrowhead. That's this. I was reading some of these names yesterday. I'm just like, where did they come up with this stuff? Imagination. Hardy marginal center part shade, two inches below the surface, winter type H. Uh, white flowers with yellow centers appear in spring and summer. So probably in the next couple weeks we should be getting some flowers. We're on June 9th now, so we're getting close. And that is plenty. Then we have the canna lily red, which is uh, this one. Oh, this is the Australian canna lily. Uh, tropical marginal or bog, full sun preferred, two inches below the surface, winter type elm. What does that mean? I don't know. Well, for canna lilies, the regular ones, all I do is I uh, cut them off at the uh, base and then uh, wash the bulb off, dry it, put it in the basement, uh, wrap it up in. Uh, either moss uh, or newspaper and uh, bulb dust and keep it cool. And it is uh, 24. Did you get the care sheets that she sent yesterday too? She was supposed to send some care sheets for some of the lilies or something. Um, there might be what was in the rest of the package. Okay, this is Tana Lily Bengal Tiger. Tropical marginal or bog, full sun preferred, two inches below the surface, winter type M. I like this. Once again, I don't know what the M stands for, but I just take it and uh, dry the bulb out, put it in the basement, wrap her up, and uh, you're good to go the next year with a bigger bulb. Maybe it means That's 24. <laughs> then we got carrot feather with a dwarf red stem. It's over here. Well, see, this is in dirt, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this is 
semi-hardy marginal center part shade, two to four inches below the surface, winter type KT. Okay, I don't know what KT stands for either. If anybody knows, leave it in the comments, uh, or I'll oh, probably know by then. Didn't pay attention. This is like almost 14 minutes. <laughs> okay, leave it to 16 minutes, and then you can cut it in half. Okay. Okay. Uh, pink pickerel rush. What looks like a pickerel? <laughs> well, they call it a pickerel rush. Well, where's the other rush? And then you'd be able to... That's iris. Iris. It's not this one, is it? No, that's a zebra grass. You haven't been paying attention to No, this to is my... zebra grass. No, that's zebra reed. Well, you haven't been paying attention? Zebra weed, reed apparently. This is the zebra grass. Ow, would you stop hitting me with the. Yeah, stop hitting your mother. Um, they may have shorted me that, and Aaron might have just put it on the list anyhow because I noticed he was rather haphazard when he did the list. Why <laughs> has your what? Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know I like to be organized. I really would like to be organized. <laughs> Trapdoor snails. Where did I put them? Oh, I put them over here. See, trapdoor snails are good because they don't eat your plants. Okay. So uh, they just live in the uh, water. And uh, they reproduce, they have live babies. If you put apple snails in, apple snails will clean your plants out. Oh, great. <laughs> I think you are so nice. Do anything. <laughs> you wanted to make sure we knew you didn't do anything. <coughs> okay, now we got the lotus. Now, oh wow, did you see how many baby mollies there are now? No, I had a chance. It's like 30 just here. Okay, this is Mrs. Perry D. Slocum Lotus. It has a flower that comes out bright pink, and over the course of three days, it turns yellow with pink outline. And then after three days, that's pretty much it. You get a flower that's about yay big. Wow. Okay. Okay, we're at 16 minutes. Okay, so we'll break this uh, video, and we'll see you again in a minute.